This is Central Asia, a region of Stans. Why named as Stan? The word Stan kind of means a place in Persian language. Given Iran has been a cultural powerhouse in Central Asia for thousands of years, it is no surprise that Central Asian countries took up Stan as their last names. So what are these Stan countries exactly? They are Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. Partly due to geography, the identity of Central Asia is largely influenced by migrations, spread of religion, nomad conquerors, and being a bridge between European, Persian, Indian, and Chinese cultural influences, hence making Central Asia an incredibly diverse region. But to grossly simplify, the Iranic stands are Afghanistan and Tajikistan. The Turkic stands are Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. Pakistan is just kinda there, as the Urdu language can be described as a love child between Indic and Iranic influences. Starting with the Iranic stands, Afghanistan, a dude famous for the wrong reasons. Afghanistan lies within Greater Persia, and thus its ancient and medieval history is more or less tied to Persia. Nevertheless, the modern Afghanistan can trace its origins to the Durrani Empire, who managed to push back the Brits, before being made as a buffer zone against Russia during the Great Game. Due to its mountainous terrains, nobody can really control Afghanistan, not even the superpowers, good luck China. Today, Afghanistan is either the dreamland or a hellhole, depending on your beliefs and values in this mortal life. Next to Afghanistan is Tajikistan, who can be described as a Russianized Iranic secular Muslim dude being traditionally tied next to Turkic Uzbekistan. Modern Tajikistan can trace its history in the Samanid Empire, Karakhanid Khanate, Mongols, and Timurids, Khanate of Bokhara, Emirate of Bokhara, Khanate of Khakhand, and Russian domination. Then, this dude has been controlling Tajikistan up until today. There have been ongoing efforts to de-Russianize themselves, such as trying out Perso-Arabic script to write the Tajik language instead of the Cyrillic script, removing Russian-sounding names, and encouraging the use of Tajik language instead of Russian language. As part of Greater Persia, Tajiks do lots of Persian festivals and celebrations. Tajikistan is still economically dependent on Russia, though China has been gaining footholds recently, and also cough-cough drug trafficking. Moving on to the Turkic stands, the largest of all is Kazakhstan. On the internet, Kazakhstan is known for this guy and this girl. Modern Kazakhstan can largely trace its origins in the Kazakh Khanate, of whom the rulers were direct descendants of Genghis Khan himself. Then, Mother Russia came along, and kinda never left, as Kazakhstan still helps Russia to send rockets into space, and being a part of the Eurasian Economic Union. Like Mother Russia, Kazakhstan loves exporting crude oil, making itself relatively rich amongst the Central Asian countries. If you would like to see some endless grassland filled with Russian-speaking East Asian-looking people who embrace Islam but super secular, Kazakhstan is definitely a place for you to visit. Next to Kazakhstan is Kyrgyzstan, who is like a mini-me version of Kazakhstan. Kyrgyzstan is basically a Kazakhstan without oil. Kazakhs love being nomads crossing vast steppes, whilst Kyrgyz people love staying in mountains. Kyrgyzstan can trace its history to the Kyrgyz Khaganate, a big bully in its heyday, before being beaten up by Mongols, Qing Dynasty, some Uzbeks, and of course, Mother Russia. Kyrgyzstan is famous for its gold, exporting lots of electricity, using currency denomination of three, demonstrating against the government for reforms, and loving dancing parties. Moving on, Turkmenistan, the Turkiest Turks you will ever meet. Turkmens, being descended from the Oghuz tribes, are believed to be the originators of a bunch of big bully empires including Seljuks, Ottomans, and lots of Iranian dynasties. Turkmenistan can be described as a dude with lots of oil, but cannot be bothered to open up to others, because it is a hellhole, literally. Some people even describe Turkmenistan as the North Korea of Central Asia. So if you are a hipster traveler who wants to show off cool places, 
Turkmenistan can be at the top of your list. Right above Turkmenistan is Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan's history is bloody yet glorious, with Timur beating up everyone, yet kick-started the Timurid Renaissance, making Samarkand the center of learning and culture in Central Asia. After Timur, a bunch of Khanates came and went, most notably the Khanate of Bokhara, before being swallowed up by Russia. Today, the future is bright for Uzbekistan, as it has great economic potential with its main exports of gold, petroleum, and cotton. Uzbeks are traditionally sedentary, and more Persianized than their neighbors upstairs, whom they probably are secretly jealous of. Oh and if you love rave parties with abandoned fishing boats, Uzbekistan can be on your bucket list. Moving on to the last Stan who is not actually in Central Asia, Pakistan needs no introduction. From its love-hate relationship with India, to its enormous football production, Pakistan is one of the powerhouses in South Asia. So why Pakistan get its Stan surname? Well, it is because Pakistan is right next to Iran, and thus absorbing lots of Persian influences, mixing up with its Indic neighbor to the east. Pakistan used to be bigger, but then they did not get along. Today, Pakistan is China's gateway to South Asia, annoying the crap out of India. When you visit Pakistan, just make sure you say Pakistan cricket team is better than India's, eat some biryani and drink some tea, and you can probably get along with almost everyone. Other than these sovereign Stan countries, there are also lots of regions named Stan, and some countries have their own Stan name version. So what is the point of knowing the Stan countries? Well, it's always good to differentiate the easily confused countries, knowing that each country is unique in its own ways despite similar surnames, and just in case if someone thought that any countries with Stan surname is a terrorist who should be given some freedom. So which Stan country is the best? In terms of population, popularity, and military might, probably Pakistan. In terms of economy, probably Kazakhstan. In terms of bride kidnapping, corruption, censorship, and dictatorial government, probably best not knowing the answer. Thanks for watching.